Welcome everybody. I'm glad you're able to join me this morning. My name is Debbie Foster. And I'm located in Bismarck, Arkansas. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. And the name of my Facebook Live is Creating with Debbie, as you probably already know. Um, give me a moment. I'm going to bring up my iPad. And be sure to comment when you come on so I can say hello to you. Find me here. Let me make sure we're muted. Right. Just give me a moment here. There we are. Okay, looks like that's up and running. We're going to be doing three cards today. We're going to do uh, one is a fun fold, so I hope you enjoy it. Good morning, Paula. Glad you could join in. Uh, we've got some weather going on out there, so I'm hoping we don't lose power. If I do, then I'll just reschedule for another day. But we'll just keep our fingers crossed that we get through it today, okay? Uh, let me go ahead and turn you around here. Good morning, Vicki. Okay, close your eyes if you get dizzy here. I should have warned you before. Okay, just getting everything situated. Let's zoom just a tiny bit, maybe. I've got some shadows right now, but I'm going to be adjusting my lighting here in just a moment. Okay. Okay, let me see what that looks like. Yeah, it's raining here too. Hopefully we don't get any hail like they're talking that we might, so I hope not. My car is out in the open, so it's already got a little hail damage from last year that I never got fixed, so hopefully not. Alright, let me get you my lighting all set up here. Seems like I'm sitting crooked there. One of these days I might have a fancy setup where I don't have to do all this adjustments. <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and get started as is. Um, like I said, my name is Debbie Foster. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Bismarck, Arkansas, and that's in the United States. And my website is www.debbiefoster.stampinup.net, and you can go on there and shop for all the products that I'm showcasing today. Uh, the January host code is 4D29J9E. Four. So if your order is under $150, use that code. Otherwise, don't use it because you'll get the rewards. Uh, morning, Sharon. Glad you could come. Nothing better to do on a rainy day like today. But we'll do some stamping. Okay. And I want to show our paper pumpkin that's for uh, February. 
And it's called Bouquet of Hope. Well, let me show this one here first. It's a bigger sheet there. And I'll tell you a little bit about it. Uh, it says, offer uplifting messages to support your loved ones through life's trying times. And about the kit, you, it includes enough supplies to create nine cards and coordinating envelopes. Features pretty pastel shades and rich jewel tones, floral patterns and pieces, and a thoughtful, versatile stamp set. And this coordinates with the exclusive flower and field designer series paper. That's in the celebration catalog that you can get for free with every $50. Okay. And that would be, I'll show you that in a minute here. Field and flowers. I think that's probably one of my favorites. Yeah. There's this one here. And it's double sided 12 by 12 sheets, and you can get that free with every $50 that you buy. So if you have any questions on signing up for the Paper Pumpkin, which is a monthly subscription, um, please get with me and I'll help you with that. And as I mentioned, we've still got uh, the mini catalog. It runs until June 2021. But the celebration catalog is only good for January and February. So February... 28th is the last day that you can get anything out of the celebration and we'll have another one in uh, I think it's July and August is when our next one comes out so uh, and also I want to mention that you can join my team or be a discount shopper and for $99 you get to choose $125 worth of products and it also includes this five pack of six by six papers that are coming out in the June catalog. So they're not even available to um, regular customers right now unless you sign up. So that's another option you can get with me and I'll help you with that if you have any questions. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, one of our stamp sets that are in the mini JJ catalog is this nailed it stamp set and it's really cute um, I was undecided at first but then I've seen different cards made with it and I fell in love with it so that's the stamp set that we're going to be using today and then we'll get all my bits and pieces out here hopefully that's not too much rattling of paper here but here's the card that we're going to do. And here's the inside. Really cute. Hi, Deborah. Glad you're joining in. Um, please comment and all that and uh, come join the fun. Okay, I'm starting out with the card base. It's the Bermuda Bay cardstock, and that measures five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and I've scored it at four and a fourth inches. And we're going to go burnish the edge of that with our bone folder. And and I've taken a piece of our Daffodil Delight cardstock and. I've cut that at four inches by five and a fourth inches, and then we embossed it using the hammered metal 3, 3D embossing folder. So let me see if you can kind of see it on the camera. Um, kind of looks like alligator skin. That's what I think it looks like to me. Okay. Okay. We're going to put that as our mat, but first we're going to put all of our layers together before we glue that down to our card. I've got a Bermuda Bay card stack, another mat, and that's four inches by three and three-fourths inches. And that's going to glue down to the center of our 
embossed paper there. And using our liquid glue, oops, I guess I better grab another bottle. This one's getting down to the end. And we're just going to place that in the center. And maybe grab another bottle of glue. I don't want to be shaking it down the whole time. It seemed like I had another one opened here. Um, there we go. All right. And then next we're going to uh -oh. I have lost one of my papers here. Oh, there it is. It's turned upside down. I'm using the designer series paper, the uh, snail mail. Um, and that is let me show you the pack that that comes in. It's in the snail mail. And it's got all these different designs. And that's 12 by 12 sheets, double-sided. I'm just making sure it gets on the camera. Yeah. yeah they're all really cute. Okay, so we're going to take that and we're going to glue that to the center of our Bermuda Bay mat. It's a good bottle of ink. It's coming out a little bit too fast. I mean, glue. We're going to center that. I may have to take my bracelet off. I think it's clanging here. We don't need the noise. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to take, set this aside for a moment, because we're going to do some stamping. And we're going to be using the mushrooms. Happy mail, you've got snail mail. Okay, let me get my memento black ink out. And we're going to do some stamping. And it's got a little smudge on it. Let me, yeah, that's fine. stamp moved on me when I was putting it down. Okay, so we're going to start with those. Set them aside. And we're going to start doing some coloring with our blends. And I've got an assortment here. Let me grab those. Try not to be so noisy. As you can see, I got a pile of different colors here. But don't let that scare you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start out with a, a dark real red. And I'm just going to color that little heart inside the envelope. And again over here. Okay, and then we're going to... Uh, we're going to use the Dark Daffodil Delight and the Light Daffodil Delight. So we're going to start out with the dark. And we'll start with the snail over here. I'm just going to outline a little bit of his shell. Uh, I want to tell you too, um, if you're new at using the blends, um, make sure, sure that you make sure that they're closed really tight. Push them really hard to make sure they snap and they're tight and shut. Because if you don't... Um, they can evaporate so and dry up. I've had that happen to me. So 
Um, just a little tip, make sure that they're completely closed. We're coloring his shell with a light daffodil delight. Just kind of blend in all of that. And then I'm going to use the petal pink for his body. I'm going to be using the light and the dark. We're going to start with the dark. And I'm just going to outline his mouth and put a little shading there at the spots are. And I don't know what these would be called. It was where his eyes are. And just put a little bit of shading in here. And I'm going to come back in with the light, petal pink. And we're going to blend all that together. Hope everybody's doing well. Did everybody have a good weekend? Oh, I don't know about that, Jackie. They're alcohol-based. I don't know if that would work. Okay, so we've got that finished. Let's go on to our mushroom. And I'm going to use the same. I'm going to use the uh, Daffodil Delight, the light in the dark on the mushroom. I'm just going to do a little bit of shading around the mushroom. And then I'm going to come back in and color it with a white. And then I'm going to fill in the dots with the dark. Okay. I'm going to do the light, dappen it with the light. going to do the stem using the crumb cake. I think I'm going to do the crumb cake in the light crumb cake, the stem. Um, I know the mushrooms, their stems are kind of light colored. I'm not doing any shading with it. I'm just going to color it in. And I think I'll do the bottom part of these. Stem. All right. So then we're going to do um, old olive, the dark and the light. So we'll start with the dark. And I want to color in the grass a little bit with the dark. And let's demo that. And a lot of this is going to be cut off, so it won't even show, but we'll just go ahead and color it in. We're going to be using the postage stamp punch to punch these out with. I'm just trying to get this done a little bit fast so we don't have to watch me coloring this whole time. Okay. And then I'm going to use the pretty peacock for the, the other mushroom. I'm going to start with the dark. And just kind of outline it a little bit. And same with up here. I'm going to come back in with the light, pe pretty peacock. Oh, Deborah, these are the uh, Stampin' Blends. Uh, they're alcohol based. I 
I like them really well because with regular markers you get the streaks when you're coloring but with these it all blends in where you don't show it it's um, it comes out really good you don't have the lines of streaks or anything with it there we go I don't know if you can see it on the camera there's no lines at all it's all blended together Alright, uh, I think I got the coloring part done. Um, let's see. I thought about coloring the envelope, but I think I'm going to leave it just white. So we're going to come in with our, this is the rectangular postage stamp punch. And we're going to punch those out. So, and same with the mushroom. And then our happy mail. I'm going to punch another one out because we're going to stamp our hello on there. So let's go ahead and we're going to stamp our hellos on here. Let me find the punch. There it is. And I didn't grab my inks for that. Uh, red, yellow. So I'm using the Daffodil Delight, Real Red, Coastal Cabana, and Blushing Bride for our colors to stamp our hello. And we're going to start with the Blushing Bride first. And we're just going to stamp hello, 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 hello. There's four hellos on here. one. I gotta clean each time here so uh, get out my chamois. We'll do some cleaning. Hold this one up. And then we're gonna come up with the Coastal Cabana. Hello. And clean it. And then our real red. I have different stamp pads here. These are the old style. Um, so um, I have some old and some new, I guess. I've got a mixture. But they're so good. It's just that they changed the design. And then our Daffodil Delight. Hello. And it doesn't matter that they're not straight. I kind of like them a little crooked. Oops, I jumped out of my hands here. I'm always a clean my other stamps while I'm at it. I'll be needing more blocks here for the next project. There, as long as I had my chamois open. Good. Get my paperwork out of the way. There, make some more room. I know when we work, we work in a small space, I don't know. 
if everybody does that or it's just me and a few friends that do that uh, it seems like we got our space gets smaller and smaller as we're working everything piles up <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to arrange these on here. And I'm not popping these up. I'm just going to uh, glue them directly down. So I'm going to place them where I want them. And I'll put the hello up here. Um, happy nail down here. Oh, I forgot to color this one. Let me get my petal pink and we'll color in the envelope on that. And I'm just going to use the dark. Go ahead and glue those down. So what's everybody's favorite stamp set that's in the new mini JJ catalog? at an angle and then with the snail mail there's the snail mail twine combo pack and you get the um, is it flirty flamingo no uh, I think it's blushing bride what? or it might be the flirty flamingo I'm not sure and then the white twine uh, Okay, Jackie likes the dragonflies. Yeah, Vicky likes the ice cream set. Yeah, I don't know if I have a favorite fray, but I just love them all. But I like the ice cream set too, and I, I like this, uh, the strawberry. <laughs> I just like them all. I don't know. I can't choose just one. Okay, so we're gonna take some of the twine. And I'm going to cut off a piece that's um, wide enough to go across the card, and we're going to just glue that to the back. And we're going to place that in the center. And we're just going to attach it with some scotch tape here. It looks like the weather kind of quieted down out there. Maybe that's all we're going to get. And I'm going to make a little bow. Oops, need to get some more here. Should be using my bowl maker, but I'm going to get brave here and do it by hand. We do got some wind out there, I guess. We're going to get a glue dot and we're going to attach that bow to the center of our card. I'm get my take your pick tool. And we're just going to kind of roll our glue dot a little bit. Um, just kind of roll it in a little ball and then place it where I want it. And then we'll place our bow on top of that. And we're 
kind of twist it here a little bit there, straighten him out. Okay. Okay, so there we have the front of our card. Let me get our card base back out here and we'll glue that down. Okay, Vicki, yeah, blushing bride, okay. <laughs> I was having a senior moment there. I couldn't think what color it was for the twine. Blushing bride. I was going to say that, but it just didn't look right to me, I guess. Okay, so there we have the front of our card. But I think I'm going to add... Um, with that sweet, with the snails, you can also get the um, resin hearts embellishments that have white or red. I think we're going to put one of those on there, on top of the envelope. I take your pick tool again. And, oops. I'm going to place it right on that little heart on that one envelope because it's not showing red like I want it to be. There, just like that. I don't know. Can you see that in the camera? Those are cute. I was waiting for my iPad to catch up to me. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to work on the inside of our card. I've got a piece of white cardstock, um, which is four inches by five and a fourth inches. And we're going to stamp, um, you snailed it. And I'm going to be using just the black memento ink. We're going to stamp that in the center. And then I'm going to come back in with the real red ink. And we're going to stamp some hearts. Like so. We're going to glue that to the inside of our card. Oh, goodness, and the phone rings. Don't they know I'm on Facebook Live? <laughs> Probably a telemarketer. Here we have the inside. You snailed it. So here's our first card we've finished. And the inside. Okay, so let me set that aside. So our next one is going to be a fun fold. Let me clear up a little bit here so I can make some room. Give me a little more space instead of 10 inches here to work with. <laughs> All right. Uh, with this one, I'm using our stamp set, which is the uh, Berry Blessings and the uh, Sweet Strawberry. Uh, the Berry Blessings is out of the celebration. Uh, with a hundred dollar order, you can get that plus the paper. Let me show you what the paper looks like. Um, yeah, it's a 
is the paper. Very delightful. So these two come together with a $100 order. And these are all 12 by 12 double-sided papers. Okay, so. We're going to do a fun fold with this one. And this is what it looks like. It's a Z fold. So let me get started with that. So our first piece is the Granny Apple Green cardstock. Let me get my measurements out here. Put the hearts away. And we're going to score that. So I'm going to get my uh, cutting board out here. And we're going to do some scoring. I've got to move back here a little bit. I've got my camera up a little quite a ways, it looks like. So we're going to score that. And on the long side, we're going to score it at two and three fourths inches, which is right here. And we're going to use the lighter color blade, that's our scoring blade. And then we're going to scooch it over to five and a half inches and score that. Okay, so we're going to set that aside and I'm going to go ahead and do my scoring on my smaller piece too. And then I've got another smaller card base which is the Poppy Parade and that measures three and fourth inches by nine inches. And we're going to score that at three and six. So let's do the three. And the six. Okay, so that's all the scoring that we need to do. Let's set our board aside again. So let's go ahead and um, use our scoring, our bone folder, and score these. straighten it out a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to fold this the opposite. There, we got that. It's like a Z fold. <laughs> and this one we're going to fold it in half. And score that. Burnish it. And then this one's going to fold back. And we'll burnish that edge. So we've got another Z fold here. So, um, I'm using that paper that I just showed you, the very, yeah, very delightful. And I'm using this side of it. So this is on the back side. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue that down to the back of our card. And I'll have all these dimensions and everything up on my blog later today. So you can go back and look at my blog. Um, that's in the description of this video. So. Uh, There we go. Um, oh, I forgot to say that measures um, four inches by five and a fourth inches. Let me get all my pieces out here so I'm not rattling papers. And then the front panel, which will go here. Maybe using the opposite side. Oops. Uh. 
Okay, we're going to glue that down to the front of our card. And that measures uh, four and eighth inches by two and five eighths inches. And now to figure out which way it goes, I think it probably goes this way. Um. All right. So we're going to go ahead and glue our Z fold other card to this. And you want to kind of center it where you're going to have it. So I'm going to glue the back side first. And just make sure that you've got the top of the Z going this way. Um, I'm going to put it where I want it here. Oops. With the liquid glue, you got time to scooch it around if you need to, so that's good. A little extra glue right there. So then we're going to glue this piece down. I was going to a little bit of glue on the edge. Don't glue it all the way up because that's going to be your opening. So I'm just doing this much of it with the glue. And so it'll open just like this. All right. And then we've got some white mats that we're going to put. And those measure two and three-fourths inches by three inches, and we've got three of those. So those will go on the front of this, but let's go ahead and stamp those first. Um, that stamps here, right? And I'm using a few out of each stamp set, so um, let me get my bearings right here. So the first one we're going to start out is going to be uh, the Wishing You the Berry Vest, which is out of, that's out of the Berry Blessings, right here. And we're going to be using um, Poppy Parade Ink and Garden Green. We're going to stamp the very best, the sentiment with the Poppy Parade. Got it upside down here. Let me. We're going to stamp that in the center. And I should be using my mat because we're doing the photopolymer that came out okay. Okay, close this up for a moment. And I'm going to come back in with the garden green. And then we're going to stamp our leaves. Using the garden green. And I'm going to get a piece of scratch paper. And let me go ahead and do this like I'm supposed to be doing. Get my mat out here. I'm just going to stamp some in the corner. And then turn it and do one in the opposite corner. All right. And then with the little flowers, I'm going to stamp those using um, well, I didn't mark that down. What color did I use? Um, 
I think we're going to go with the Highland Heather for the flowers. And these don't have to be exact. They're kind of like a watercolor stamp where it looks like it's kind of a washed look. They don't exactly match up completely. So let's come back in and we're going to glue that to the front of our card. it so I get it positioned right. Okay. And we'll go ahead and we'll do the inside of our card also at the same time. So I'm going to use the other leaves uh, which I've misplaced here. Where did I put them? Oh, right here. Um, right, this niche some my blocks here, so let me take these. Okay, with the leaves you've got an outline image and then you've got the image that'll fill the color in. So we're gonna start with the outline image first. And I'm going to be using the garden green again. And I'm just going to put uh, three in a bunch on the top and then three in a bunch on the bottom. Well, I think I'll go with the two. And then I'm going to come back in with our solid image. And let's see, do I want it that dark? I think I might stamp it off once. Yeah, let me stamp it off once. I don't want it real dark. And I'll turn this and stamp off. And again, set that aside. We're going to bring on our poppy parade again. And we're going to stamp the strawberry. This is the outline. And we're going to put that right in the center. We've got the other piece that'll fill in the color. Whoops, drop that. Nice catch. <laughs> I'm going to do that in full strength. I'm not going to stamp that off. Just like so. And I think he needs a leaf on top of him, so I'm going to. Grab my leaf out of there. Probably need to clean off some stamps again here. Let me do that. Get my chamois back out here again. can never have enough blocks it seems like so um. <laughs> that will clean off a few so we can switch out and here's the outline one and then the solid one so 
So we're going to do our garden green again. I'm going to start out with the outline one. And place that down top of our strawberry. And fill it in. There we go. So this one's going to go glued onto the inside panel. So, it might run a little bit longer today. I um, hope everybody's willing to stay with me. Um, and then the last one is going to be Happy Birthday, You Sweet Thing. which is out of this sweet strawberry. And we're going to be using the Poppy Parade ink. All right. So we're going to glue that to the inside, to our back panel. Oops. That moved a little bit more than I wanted it to move. <laughs> okay. And we're gonna we're gonna use the strawberry punch. It's called the strawberry builder punch. And let me close up some ink pads here so I don't get my fingers and arms in them. I've got a piece of that paper that was in the Berry Delightful, and it looks like strawberry seeds, so we're going to use that for our strawberries. So first I'm going to stamp the outline. Uh, I do need my poppy parade again. Well, yeah. Well, I'm not going to do the memento black. For the outline. And I'm going to stamp uh, three of those and then we'll punch them out. Looks like it's getting darker outside again. Okay. Next one. I'm trying to make sure I don't punch out my strawberry that's next to it, so I'm just lining it up there. Got our three strawberries. So now we need uh, the leaves to go with it, and I've got a scratch of scrap paper of the granny apple green. And we're going to punch out our leaves. Oh goodness! It's wanting me to be strong here. There we go. I don't know if you can hear the thunder out there. Three of those. So we're going to arrange our strawberries. I'm going to put one on the front, just glued down. I'm going to add one of our stems to it. Do 
a little bit of glue. And then we're going to pop one up on a dimensional. And place that next to it. And we'll add a stem, a stem with a mini dimensional. in the way there so you can't see here. Let me scooch that down just a tiny bit. Okay, there we have our strawberries on the outside. Then I'm going to put another one down here. We're going to glue that directly. And the stem. On top. Okay, so yeah, there's our seafold card. Okay. Not real difficult, just putting things together and decorating it. So let's go on to our next one. Um, let me clean my stamps up here a little bit. Oh, thanks, Jackie. Thank Next one is, let me move these, throw my trash away. This is the one I was going to do last week and we kind of ran short on time. So I hope you can stick around for another half hour or so. We'll do this one. It's called Hey Girlfriend. And this is out of the new mini JJ catalog too. You wouldn't believe my desk here. <laughs> oh, a messy, messy mess. So here, this card we're going to do. It says, hey, girlfriend. And then there's, inside it says, I love my besties. Or, I heart my besties. So, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to start out with a piece of Rococo Rose card base, and that measures, let me get it together here, um, it measures four and a fourth inches by 11 inches, and then it scored at five and a half inches, and we're going to burnish the edge of that. And then we've got a piece of our So Ombre designer series paper, which is one of the free items that you can get out of the celebration with a $50 order. And I'll show the different patterns it has. It's double sided. Um, there it is. These are all the patterns and colors. Uh, Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, and Rococo Rose, and White. So, we're going to be using the Rococo Rose color today. This is the side that we're going to be using. It's got the Bermuda Bay on the other side. So, we're going to um, attach our ribbon. I'm using 
the, the scallop lace trim and that's about nine inches that we're using. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue that down or tape it down and kind of on the edge. Okay, get the bottom piece taped down. And I probably cut more than what I really needed. Um, that you can always cut off. You can't, it's a little harder to add to. Yeah, I'm going to trim that up a little bit. Uh, got my scissors buried here. Somewhere. There they are. I've got blends laying all over here, so it was hard to find it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to glue that to the front of our card. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I'm kind of glancing at my comments once in a while, so but if I miss any of your questions, I can get with you later. Yeah. Okay, and then I have another piece of the Rococo Rose, and I've cut that out. It measures. Um, I forgot to tell you that the DSP, the designer series paper, measured uh, four inches by five and a fourth inches. And um, the Rococo Rose cardstock measures two and a half inches by three and three fourths inches. And I've un I embossed that using the painted texture embossing folder, which is this one here. Uh, it's kind of a different design. Let me see if you can see it in the camera. We're going to glue that down to the front of our card. And I used the same designer series paper here. Um, I just embossed it after I cut it out. It's just the back side where some of them are plain. Okay, and I've already stamped and colored our girls. Um, this one I've already cut out. Um, I need to cut out this other one real quick. I thought I'd cut her out, but I guess I didn't. It won't take me very long. I saved us some time by coloring it ahead of time using the blends. These girls are really cute. Kind of reminds me in our old days where we had um, paper dolls. I'm probably telling everybody my age here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, these don't come with dies. We've kind of gotten spoiled with the dies that we have to fussy cut. And a lot of us don't like doing that. I'm, I don't mind it, but I think it's time consuming. It's easier just to put it in the die machine and cut it and be done with it. I guess we've gotten a little bit spoiled. And I'm just trying to get a little bit of that extra white out of there. Well, it doesn't want to let go. 
There we go. There. This looks good. So there we have the two girls. Clean up my mess. And we're going to pop them up on dimensionals. So let me get those out here. I'm going to get a little one and put down there. Take the backings off. I need to find my take your pick tool and pop these off easier. There it is. We're just going to center them. And when you're flicking off the backings, you want to kind of push at an angle. Um, and it makes them release a little easier. And we've got some more weather coming in. I hear the thunder out there. Uh, well, I thought I'd already die cut that. I guess I didn't. We need to stamp our sentiment. And then I'm going to have to bring out my mini embossing machine. So let's get this off of that one. We'll switch out stamps here. And I'm going to be using the Rococo Rose ink. Stamp our sentiment and a piece of scrap white. Hey, girlfriend. Okay, let's bring up our mini, Miss Mini Baby. And we're going to die cut this out. Get our plates here. And this is the same as our uh, Big Boss. It's just a little smaller. Um, okay, next we need, um, we need a number one, which is our base plate. And, and then we just need two number twos. We've got one on the bottom. And I'm going to center this. This die comes out of the stitch so sweetly. Okay, so let's run that through. So we're going to set that aside. And this all folds up for easy storage, so that makes it even better. They both do, the big one and the little one, the mini. So I call them Baby Boss and Big Boss for the bigger one. <laughs> so we're going to put that up on dimensionals also. And let's see, the bigger ones fit on there, yeah. And then that little scrap that I cut off, we're going to glue that down with a glue dot. And we're going to kind of center it up here. Just like so. I uh, need another one there. Right there. 
And we're going to pop off our backings from our dimensionals. Now the sun's coming out. It doesn't know what it wants to do today. And we're going to kind of put that in an angle. Just like so. And of course we need some rhinestones. We've got to have a little bling going on. Uh-oh, something fell. Not sure what it was. And I'm going to take a medium size rhinestone. We're going to put that right on our sentiment. And then I'm going to take some smaller ones and I'm going to place those above the girls. And we want to move that just a little bit. Okay, so we've got the outside done. So let's do the inside. And we've got another white that measures four inches by five and a fourth inches. And we're going to stamp that again uh, using the I Love My Besties. And I'm going to be using the Rococo Rose again. top and then I've got a little piece of the uh, designer series paper that we're going to put across the side let me fold this up get my glue and some glue Okay, I'm just going to put that on the edge, line that up, so that that's straight, yeah, and then we're going to cut off the excess. Alright, and then we're going to glue that to the inside of our card. Gonna line up the bottom and the sides. Um, looks like I might have cut that a little bit too wide, but that's okay. Okay, so here's the inside and the outside. If you wanted to, you could have put a little bit of Wink of Stella maybe on their purse and their flowers, maybe. And maybe their shoes. ribbon. Okay. And maybe your headband right there. So here's the outside and the inside. So that's our cards for today. Let me bring all three of them out here and um, show them. Uh, see if I can get it all in camera view here. I'm going to have to rearrange here, waiting for my iPad to catch up. And I can move these over a little bit. And thank you for the hearts. Oh, and I didn't mention either. Uh, be sure that you like and share my video. Thank you, Paula. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Um, hope you might have learned something from it all. I know you're just starting out. But they're not really difficult. Um, the hardest part is probably cutting the paper with the ruler measurements. So. Okay, so... I know we went a little bit over today, so... I'm hoping that 
It wasn't too long for everybody. Let me go ahead and turn you around and talk face to face here again. Get that on my face. Okay, so I'm glad that you enjoyed today. Um, be sure to tell your friends about me and um, share the video. Um, be sure to check out my blog later for the um, measurements and everything that I did. There'll be pictures on there also. I should have that up later this afternoon. Uh, but I'm going to say goodbye to everybody and hope you enjoyed today. And I hope you could spend some time today to do some stamping. It's a good day. I'm going to be stuck inside. Uh, so I'm going to be back Monday morning, uh, probably back at 1030 time. I kind of did the time a little different today because I was supposed to have a repairman come out, but then he canceled on me. So uh, it is what it is. <laughs> All's well. But I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy. Um, enjoy your card making. 